square root over 3 minus 2 square root 2. This is the mathematical statement. This mathematical statement has a simplified and simple solution. Question is, what's the simple solution of this mathematical statement? There are three possible simplified solution of this mathematical statement. The one possible solution could be square root 3 minus 1 or another possible solution could be square root 2 minus 1 or the simplified solution of this mathematical statement could be square root 3 minus square root 2. I will find out the simple solution of this mathematical way through a very interesting way. To do that, let's uh, recall a simple formula and that formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square and this means a minus b whole square right we know it from our high school look at here interestingly this minus and this two this minus and this two they are resembling to each other right so i can write this minus here and this two also here look at here this is square root two i can write this a as square root two that means square root two so since i write a as square root two so i can write here square root two as well and then this is square a square means square root two a square minus two a b is missing to find out b i have to make a mathematical engineering which is write this part only exactly here three minus two square root two which is equals to this three means um two plus one interestingly look at here this part this square root and this square become vanished because they cancel each other and remaining is two here so i need one for to make it equal on left hand side what i can do i can write an one here and then one is square that means interestingly look at here this part means this is 2 and that part means this is 1 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and then this minus is here and this 2 is here and then this square root here and this b means 1 which is equals to multiplied by 1 i don't need to write it right so this part become equal to a square minus 2 ab plus b square which is equals to i can write a minus b whole square that means a is square root of 2 minus b means 1 left hand side is 3 minus 2 square root 2 is equal to square root 2 minus 1 whole square on this left hand side i am just introducing this additional square root to make it equal do the same thing on the right hand side that means square root 2 minus 1 whole square this part become this and that square root they cancel each other and remaining is square root 2 minus 1 right so what i am getting this is equal to that that's the simplified solution that means i can write this mathematical statement has a simplified solution which is equals to square root Two minus one so this is the right answer of this mathematical statement is not it interesting <laughs> it seems like very complex but the solution is very simple if you know the right way well um, don't go I have an interesting um, mathematical statement again for you if I say that 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus dot 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 which is equal to um, minus one. Would you believe that? This time I'm gonna to use the different approach for uh, proving that this series is equal to minus one. It seems like insane thinking, right? <laughs> but it's true. Well, let's consider S is equal to one plus two plus four plus eight plus 16 plus dot 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 Let's consider this series is equals to S. I can do a mathematical engineering here that is keep this one same and take two common from this part this whole part take two common so if you write take a two common here this part become one this four become two this eight become four this 16 become eight and so on plus dot 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 dot, dot, dot. so on look at here 
this 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 dot dot dot, dot this part become s this exactly same thing <laughs> right so i can write here 1 plus 2 this part become s means 2s so left hand side become s this is also s and right hand side become 1 plus 2s what's the solution next step is i can say 2s become that side by minus so s minus 2s is equal to 1 or minus s equal to 1 so i can write from here s is equal to minus 1 that means this series is equal to minus 1 this part is s so s is equal to minus 1 that means this series is equal to minus 1 this is a strength right well somewhere in this mathematical calculation there is something wrong i did not uh, follow the ground rules of mathematics that's the reason why i get this strength result so if you know where exactly is the mistake you can find out the mistake well don't go i have another interesting series for you let's consider there is a series 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus 48 plus dot 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 let's consider this series is equal to also s and then keep this one same and take three common from this part so this three is common this part become one this part become two this part become four this part become eight plus dot 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 in our previous statement i proved that 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is equal to minus 1 this minus 1 so i can write this term is equal to minus 1 that means 1 plus 3 times minus 1 which is equals to uh, 1 minus 3 that means it's minus 2 so that means s become minus 2 s means 1 plus 3 plus 6 this part become minus 2 so i can write 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus dot dot dot, dot which is equal to minus 2 is not it interesting i prove here to a statement 1 plus 2 4 plus 8 8 plus dot dot dot, dot which is equals to minus 1 and there is another interesting proof 1 plus 3 plus dot dot dot, dot which is equals to minus 2 this is totally a strange proof so i prove that this series is equal to minus 1 and that series is equal to minus 2 if you know where exactly i made the mistake you can write it in the comment section thank you so much for watching and see you in the next time bye bye